Guys, we pulled out the biggest, oldest looking treasure chest I think we've ever found in a storage unit. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeebus, guys. And today we got probably the craziest storage unit story you've ever heard. Definitely the craziest for us. So before we get in there, I gotta tell you the significance of why this is so crazy. So we're at a live auction. This auction company doesn't like the recording, so we didn't record the auction, but I wanna explain it to you. So there was a woman here that was trying to buy their unit back. People do that, it's not technically legal, but they do it anyway, they try to buy their unit back. Usually, if somebody's trying to buy their stuff back, we will not bid no matter what's in there because obviously it's it's a moral thing, right? We don't wanna, I don't wanna take it from them right in front of their face. Some people do it, but that's just kinda mean. But that's what happened. However, this woman decided she's gonna start making racist comments towards a lot of people here. I'm not gonna repeat what I'm saying here, but there's a lot of Hispanic people that go to these auctions and well, they were making super racist comments towards all of them, which that's just one of those pet peeves that drive us crazy. I cannot stand ignorant racist people. They get on my nerves so badly, so badly. So right when we started saying all that, yeah, I can see everybody else is uncomfortable there. I was like, no, you're not You're not gonna come here and make everybody uncomfortable like that. So we're gonna buy the unit no matter what. We bid up to $85, that's all we paid for, but I was not, I was, oh, we were just heated at the moment, we were just heated. Everybody just hates the racism stuff and everybody else felt so uncomfortable. And I was like, no, you're not doing that. So we got this unit for $85. They said they needed this. We're, we're gonna be the bigger people here. We're still gonna give the pictures they wanted back to the front, but they don't know that. I just wanted to, I wanted to ooh, give them a taste of their own medicine. They made everybody else mad and uncomfortable, so let's make you mad and uncomfortable too. But like we said, we're not gonna be spiteful and throw the stuff away, which I kinda do wanna do because I'm really mad. We're still gonna give it back to them. I just wanted them to feel a little bit of what they're giving everybody else back. So without further ado, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new, let's get into it. All right, so before we get into it, I just wanted to say something again. After we won the unit, the auctioneer was telling us how the, he's so happy we won the unit because of the people they are again. Then when we get to the front to pay, the lady that works there says the same thing. They were just disgusting towards her. So you know what? I was just like, part of me so bad I wanted to be the spiteful person and just throw the pictures in the trash. But I'm trying my best to just be that guy that steps above it and give it all back anyway. But part of me just wants to, ooh, they made me so mad. But let's start going through this unit. It's really dark in here. We don't have a light, so... What is this? You recognize this? Mm, no. Is that a podium? Uh oh. It's going in a lot in the middle. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's a podium. What is that? Um, flip it over on its side. There's stuff in there. Oh, look. Yeah, flip it over. Is it like a. A, a truck toolbox. Type I think thing. so. Now we're gonna figure how to get into it. We'll be doing good. Hmm. hmm. I don't know. Missing. Give us a second, guys. We gotta figure this one out. So there's actually a lock hole on both sides of this thing. This thing is locked shut. Let's hope we find a key in there. I don't have to bust it because it looks like it could be a pretty nice like tool bench or something or tool box, I guess. Let's hope we can find a key. But look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Did you see me just get assaulted by glass? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I was... <laughs> I did. I don't know if I got it. All right, but we got a little, some kind of saw, right? Yeah. I don't know what kind it is. A Delta 15 inch. Doesn't look in that great of shape, whatever it is. But it's something that'll sell. With this unit, if we make money, great. Most important at all, it was like a revenge thing. I, I hate this. Oh, I hate that. Here's some pictures which they're not getting the frame back. I'm doing the, mid the minimum possible to try to be a decent human being. I'll take the pictures out and we'll give them back. But, ooh, I'm just like reliving it in my head now. I'm like heated again, guys, I'm heated again. Good boy. This looks like a bunch of party decor and junk and, um, Looks like a bunch of Halloween crap, really. Thanksgiving. Nothing too exciting in there. Thanksgiving and Halloween. Just cheap little Dollar Tree stuff. Stuff will sell for a dollar. We're gonna put it all in that crate and keep on going. But if you can see in the back, I don't know how, it's pretty dark in there. It's good. There's a huge trunk right there. And if you look at the bottom, there's at least one or two other trunks. I can't tell if the one on top's a trunk too. But 
let us get this stuff together and we'll see, keep on going. So we got out another red toe that looks to have some weird stuff in it. CD holder, uh, rock and roll, Zeppelin, uh, Led Zeppelin CDs, hmm, bunch of CDs. This could be worth a little something. Probably not. <laughs> we'll sell them for like three for a dollar or something like that. They're just CDs and no cases. Let's look at find the cases. Then we'll be able to get some more money for them. Is this more? Let's see. Yeah, these are all rock CDs. Check that out. ACDC. More ACDC. These can actually have a lot of value to them. Beatles. Hmm. We don't know. Hopefully they save the... Oops, well, good job. Sorry, I was trying to put them there, but it's going to save the... Uh, hopefully they save the disc holder somewhere else. If we can find the CD holders, we'll actually be a lot better off. These are empty. Nothing. Nothing. Ooh. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. Ooh. Boring. There's a few pictures and... Nothing else. So this toe's pretty much junk. Nothing too exciting in there. So we got another toe out. Let's see what we have. This one's heavy too. Ooh, look at the dolphin thing. Uh oh, never mind. Thought that was gonna be heavy. It's like super light, but cool little wall hanger. Uh, it's the jar. It's the jar. All right. And another jar. Yes. Keep the rated jar, just what we wanted here. Whoa! Let's see what this is. It's taped pretty shut. What do you think? Uh, looks like a picture box. Well, if it is, like I said, we're gonna be the nicer people here, even though it shouldn't be. We're gonna give it back to them. Uh oh. Oh, stupid light. I'll work on getting this open. Like most of them are motion sensored for like 10 minutes. These are like 30 second lights. No, this is like some lights or something. I don't even know. Looks like a light. And some CDs in there. So no pictures in that one. What do we have here? Just more broken. Oh, sorry. Broken pot. That's what we wanted. We can get that stick. Okay, much easier now. What's in this box? Seashells. That's picture. I don't know what that is. Uh, Lenex Shiner? Some type of vase. Some of these could be really expensive. We'll definitely have to look into it. Oh. Uh, what is this one? Let's see. Same thing. Some of these could be expensive. You never know. Get out of the newspaper. We need to see you. Look at that. Doesn't have a brand or nothing on it, but it's pretty nice looking. Uh, nothing else in here, so let's get this box out the way. These pictures. Oh no. This is like random stuff. A couple of the USBs. That should be interesting to look at later. Probably a clan meeting. Honestly. They seem like this. Oh, they're so annoying. I'm gonna punch them. Nothing in there, unfortunately. That looks interesting. Mm. Nope. Just cheap costume jewelry, most likely. Any silver markings? There is a marking in there, but I can't read it. I'll have to check when we get home. Oh, look. Look at that baby. There's a right there's a marking in it too. I can't see it. Ah, okay, we'll let you know at the next clip. I'm gonna take a good look at it because I'm really curious now. That could be more jewelry. What do you think? Oh Whoa. Put that one in Definitely there. Definitely have to go through this. Ooh yeah, whole thing of rings. Ooh, I'm excited now. There's gotta be at least Who's one in there. What? That? Yeah, that's going there. There's gotta be at least one real one in there, right? You right. think? Ah, oh, where did that come from? A light. That's bright to be a little flashlight. It is. Oh, there's a shoebox box something in here too. Hey, look. 
Did we we made it. There's only 50 cents in there. We did it. We did it, guys. I'm trying to get to this um, big shoebox in here. Uh, if I can get to it, I can't. Oh, whoa, look at all that change in there. Holy crap. You see that? There's at least another dollar in there. And here's a key. Maybe this will go to the box under it. And you know what else is in here with the change, right? You know. Oh, your needle. Just to stay safe. Everyday needle. It says fragile. I like fragile. Use the key to get through the tape. Smart, smart. These are pictures. As much as I hate to say it, they are. We'll give them back. We'll give them back. Be the bigger guys, guys. Don't fight negativity with negativity. Just be the bigger person. Even though sometimes it's very hard. Very, very hard. But these are all pictures. I'll send the whole box back. Nothing else in there, but for now, I want to look through the ring container. When we come back, we'll let you know if anything was real. So we'll be right back. So put a little pink toad here. And by the way, from what we see, the rings have markings in them, but not like regular markings. I don't see 925s or 12K or 14K or anything like that. But when we get home, we'll go through them and you'll definitely know in the recap if we have real jewelry or not. But from now, I can't see anything. Oops, well. All right. You still see? What's in here? Look at this face. Crystal is what people always do, right? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know like, what they're listening to. I know. I always see people flick it and like, oh, it's crystal. Like, how, did, how do you know that? Somebody enlighten me. A nice little vase again. Uh, just glassware, candle holder. That's kind of cool looking. I don't know what it is, but it's cool looking. Butterfly. That enjoy the splendor nature. Splendor of nature. I'm gonna read the whole thing. Whoa, that's weird looking, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Ten dollars, whatever it is, new. Definitely not new no more. This whole thing's glassware, I think. So nothing too exciting. Just a bunch of little dishes and things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get that one. I think we got a few more toasts before we get into the trunk. So we'll be right back. Got the next green toad out. Let's see what we have. A butterfly canvas. All right. DVD player. Yep, little DVD player. What is this, makeup? Oh, batteries. Cool. If they're new, it's cool. <laughs> if not, crap. I always need batteries. Hey, look, a salt lamp. Hey. Now, it looks like we have a lot of, like, sprays in here, but people will buy the sprays used easily because Obviously, it's not going to be on your skin or anything like that. What is this? Hmm. Looks like a countertop. Uh -oh. I hate these lights. So Every bad. 10 seconds. It's so annoying. They go off. And there's no timer. There's no timer anywhere. It's like the most illogical setup I've ever heard of in my life. What is this? It's in a sock. Maybe there's something else. Jar full of money. No, just freaking perfume. Come on. Um, there's something in here, too. Probably just, uh, perfume. <laughs> and there's perfume, too. I can feel it. Okay. Perfume. So we'll probably put them all out, charge a dollar a piece, and get about 15 bucks for that bucket. Not that exciting, but hey, it's stuff that'll sell. So got us this towed out, opened up when I lifted it, kind of just closed, but you guys let me know if we have anything expensive. This is an ultra suede brand fabric. We got this one, Chosen Couture Collection. That looks nice. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's expensive. Ugh, gross. Really gross. San Francisco 49ers. Ugh. Makes me sick. What else do we have in here? Vans hoodie. Uh, just a bunch of more 49ers crap. And just a bunch more clothes. Nothing too exciting. So that's how we used to charge a dollar a piece. We don't know about the other stuff. At least 10 bucks for that tote. Maybe more. We'll let you know in a recap. So this black tote has weird, like, buckles on it. I've never seen it on a tote before. It's kind of strange. Let's see what's in there. We gotta keep the tote shit safe, you know? That's empty. This is clothes. What is this?
whatever's in there is like a crystal. You see it? Or mm -hmm. maybe some value to it. Pictures. Get up, I can't pick it up. It's all a big frame, never mind. Huh? More pictures. More pictures. Like we said, people made us mad, but we'll still send them back anyway. What is this? Sonic jewelry. Ooh, a jewelry cleaner. I might just keep that. What's in here? Alright. Dog pictures for some reason. Not really sure why, but they're there. Other than that, the shadow box. You think so? I'm Maybe. Let's check out that marking in there. Could be. We'll let you know in a recap. Other than that, a bunch of nothing. So we got the first of the chest out. Look at this on the front. This is a nice looking old chest. You think it's old or just made to look old? Mm. It looks pretty cool, whatever it is. You know, I don't, I don't ever have guesses on that because I have no idea. I have like a thing for chests. Treasure hunting with Jeevish, you know. You ready? It's gonna be full of gold, right? And yes. What is the gems that pirates are always looking for on cartoons? Platoons or something? <laughs> something. Like I don't that. know what it's called. Somebody correct me in the comments. Let's see. Oh, you gotta get more opposite than treasure. It's Christmas decorations. Oh boy. That's all that's in here, really. Oh, Genie Lamb. That's why they had this. See? Oh, didn't work. Uh. Well, the only positive thing we have going for us is it is uh, late October, November, December. The Christmas stuff might go, so I'm not going to be too mad at it, but it's not going to be for much. It might be $10 worth of stuff in here, and somebody might buy the chest. I don't know. Look at the side. It's kind of broken. And on this side, it's even worse. Up here, look. So I don't know if someone's going to buy the chest, but let's hope so. Keep on going. So we got this chest down. Look at this. The hatches are actually all shut. I hope it's not locked. Let's see. You ready? One, two. Uh oh. Oh, is that what these do? Oh, three. Uh, all right. That's a big bowl if that's what that is. Jeez, what do you even put this in this? I feel like it's like a centerpiece. Thing. Hmm. Hand wash only, not for use in oven, microwave, or dishwasher. All right. This thing. I'm not sure what that is. We have some Coca Cola bottles. Thirty bucks price tag on it. Oh, this got something in it. Let's see. 1996 hot hot August night Coca Cola bottle. Some Coca Cola stuff is very collectible. Without breaking stuff, and they're used is what they are. So, dollar and two a piece. Let's see if I can get this thingy out the way too. It's like really, I have no room here. Um, then we got fairies here. Fairy godparents in the Crocker dance. If you know what I'm talking about, then you're a good person. If you don't, you haven't lived life yet. Got some fairies. Hmm. Ew. Ew, that's I feel like a, a skull. skull. Yeah. Oh cool. Human skull found in trunk. What a cool storage unit. Mm -hmm. Um this is empty. Bubble wrap. Another Coke bottle though. There's some other stuff wrapped up over here. What do we have? Another Coca-Cola bottle. Hmm, I don't see a date on those, do you? No. 75th anniversary, so 1905 to 19, so 1980, I'm guessing. Is that one Coke started? Can somebody just save all the, this is like a Japanese Coke can. Somebody saved all the Coke cans in the trunk, I guess. This one's still sealed. Sunday, Super Bowl, January 20th, 1996. All right. Other than that, we got some more actually. Let's keep going. Coke bottles to be collected. It's like a golden one. Ooh, a golden Coke bottle. No date on that though. What about this one? Another one. A Mickey Mouse 
Coke bottle. Hmm. I'm hoping these are hot and valuable. I think this might be the last one. And we'll take them all out for the recap to show you anyway. But that just looks like an old glass Coke bottle. Hmm. So a lot of Coke bottles in there. Definitely some kind of collector. Let's hope they have some value to them. Guys, we pulled out the biggest, oldest looking treasure chest I think we've ever found in a storage unit. This thing is so heavy, I actually couldn't get it. We had to put the camera down, get both sides, and get it out of here. It, it has to be full of gold bars, right? It just has to be. Has to be. All right, so this one. Oh wait, let, hold on. Is this um? Can you read that? Uh, no. Even something ever. I don't know. Ever even sting lock. What about put a light on it? Yeah, there we go. Ever everlasting lock. It says something. One four T forty four at the bottom. I have no idea. I was seeing if we can get a brand because I don't I don't know if the weight's coming from the oh stuff in God. here Look or it's the trunk itself. <laughs> well, jeez, that works. All right, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Ugh. Well, this is gonna be hard to go through now. Okay. We'll have to do it one handed. Blankets, um, quilts, yarn, something. I don't know. Some jackets in here. This one is Izzy Leather. Eyes Easy Eye Leather. Is that a good brand, guys? I don't think so. We just found that. Did we? Yeah. This one's like a fur but I, on the inside, but I can't see a brand name on it. Another long one, though, isn't it? Uh, I don't see a brand, though, so not sure. A lot of leather in here. Izzy leather again. Two of the Izzy Certain leathers. Certain ones might be. I don't know. This one's Avante, New York. Ooh, let's see. This one is. Get out. Oh, it's made in Italy. Whatever it is. Handmade in Italy GV. It looks like they're selling it for $25 or something. You see that? Mm -hmm. I think that has some value. Uh, they're selling 25 bucks. Maybe this is, who knows how long this trunk has been in here. <laughs> trunk has been in here since World War II and stuff. I don't know. We have, looks like a cat's butt and legs. Dog butt. Cat. Dog butt. What is this? Oh. What? This is a, it's like a funeral thing for a dog that died. Aw. Uh oh. I'll go with it. What? What if the dog's body's in here? Oh gosh, don't say that. No, it would stink. Yeah, it would stink. These are like in there, in there. What do they do? Just open the blanket. Open it. Like, unfold it. That helps. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, gosh, what do they do in here? God. All right, guys. We're going to have to put the camera down and get this stuff out. I don't know what it is, but we're going to have to figure it out. So, first thing we're able to get out of here is look at this thing. The Beatles, what would you call these? Um, Wall? Canvas, canvas art. Something like that. But Beatles is usually money, so I'll take that. And check this portrait out. Oop, if we can get it out, the frame is busted. It's John Lennon. Yep. So we got us a John Lennon portrait by uh, who? Signed by Bradford John Salomon. Well, all right. But it looks nicely done. I don't know how much it'll go for, especially with the busted frame, but hopefully that's just a frame they bought and put on it. It's not nothing special. Let's get some of these blankets out the way now. You think we'll be able to get to whatever mm -hmm. this is yet? You don't have to move it back. Oh, oh there we go. What is this? Mm -hmm. Huh. Any markings on that? Not that I see. Look. Go to the back again. Nothing on it. I'm making sure, I mean, because there could be like the littlest etching on it. Nope. All right. Nothing. But we use Google Image Search. We might be able to find out something about it. It might just be like a decorative thing you get from like Bed Bath to Beyond, but it might be something valuable. There's another one in here. Another one, the same thing you think? Probably a different picture. Same type of thing. Though. There's another one under that. Yeah. Nice. Well, last time we kept finding pieces and pieces that went to a giant <laughs> thing. It ended up pretty well. Maybe we'll do it again. That looks pretty cool though. 
This is like flashback again. This is why it's so heavy though. Look, there's another one. That's strange. Another one? How many of these things are there? If there's six again, I'm like, this is meant to happen. Look at that. Same thing, they're all definitely part of one big mural. 100%. All right, well, let's see what else we got in here because it looks like it ends there. It's Madonna again. <laughs> a nice Madonna thing. <laughs> Guys, hope you all know we're just joking. I know it's Marilyn Monroe. I just like to play with these people. But Marilyn Monroe thing. Some people are like legitimately offended last time. They're like, <gasps> that's not Madonna. Be so happy that when others look at you, they become happy too. You know what? That's cool. Let's look at this first. Hold on. Couple of things over here. These are personal pictures. Oh, look at that. The Rolling Stones presents. Oh, it's a freaking Rolling Stones concert poster from 1969. That might really, really have some value to it. Check that out. It's perfect. It's like great condition, too. Ooh, I can't wait to look that up. Let me put the personal mm -hmm. pictures over here. That could have some serious value. Ooh. Tell us what you think, guys. Put it down in the comments. <laughs> what else do we got going? Let's get the blankets out. It's like all the rock and roll stuff. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Hold on. Got personal pictures. What's in here? Make sure it's not personal first. Oh no, look at that. Journey. A Journey band poster too. Steve Miller band. Hmm, I wonder if that's worth anything too. That glass thing in the corner. This? That. It's crystal. No, I don't know how to tell. Um, this has a little edging on it. Look, it's definitely Japanese done, or some type of. Yeah, I'm guessing Japanese. Looks like there's four of these to go together, though. Look. Oh, there's something on the back. Patent number, yeah, made in Japan. Maybe they're valuable too. We got one more here. So that's four pieces that all go together. I'm waiting to pull out like a freaking golden record or something. That'd be so awesome. What about that? Just put it aside, I guess. Yeah. All right, next level. Hold on, let me make sure it's not personal. I see personal. Go away, camera. We'll come right back, guys. So we went all the way down to the bottom of this trunk and all of what else was in there was personal pictures. There's a lot of them. So again, even though we probably shouldn't because they were kind of annoying, we are going to leave the stuff behind so they can come back and get the personal pictures. Be the bigger person, people. Be the bigger person. So just pulled out this poor busted up tote here. He has seen a lot better days and I already see more be Ooh, I see Chanel too. Hold on. You got me get this behind it? Where should we start with Chanel? Beatles? Yeah. Chanel. Look at that. And oh, well, what was this box actually for? It's not like a purse. What's going in there? Perfume, maybe? Um, um, again, no gifts. Well, it's just a random little thing. Nothing important. What else? Let's look at the Beatles thing. The Beatles Anthology. That's a big book. You think that has some value to it, too? A little bit. I mm. wonder when it was published. Let's see if we can find a date on it. Uh, 2000. It's probably not. Uh, what is this one? What is that? And I can't read their handwriting. Let's see. Get out, get out, get out. Ah, it's getting tape all over me. It's attacking. Alright, there we go. I think we can get it out of it now. Oh. Okay, I didn't think we'd get this far, but we're into it. Let's see. More costume jewelry, it looks like. I'm gonna guess probably all costume jewelry. It's way too yellow to be real gold. But again, when we do the recap, we'll go through all the jewelry and let you know. Is this got stuff in it too? Nope. Ow. Hmm. That felt good. Looks like it's supposed to be a wine bottle. A super fancy one of some sort. You think so? Yeah. 
All right. What do we have in this? That's kind of oddly put together, isn't it? How many? Oh boy. Crafts. Cards and personal things like that. No, thank you. That'll go back with the pictures. Madonna. Where? Oh, it's Madonna again. Ooh, oh, look. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. A little picture here. Madonna was so pretty. Uh, personal one. <laughs> what is in this one? Probably the same stuff, you think? Yeah. Yeah. I can go back with the personal stuff. A flower thing made in China. A little metal tube. I said tube tote. <laughs> that. What is this? Hey. What is this? A clue scroll? <laughs> Uh, I don't know if it's clue scroll. Sounds <laughs> like wall stickers and stuff. A card, get out. Nothing. I'll go with the personals. Candles. Coach, too. You get all these high end boxes in here. Savoir chocolates. Uh, I thought that would be the one thing that would still be in there. I thought to say, my luck it will be, and this is a bunch of candles. I like that? how you said this fancy because it looked like a fancy box. Savor, chocolates, you said Savord. I was trying to make it sound <laughs> fancy, all right? Get off a case. It's just more random stuff. And there's a lot of candles in there, which is cool. We'll keep them all. But nothing too interesting in that one. I think we still have one more of those in there and some suitcases. Let's go see what we can get ourselves into. So we got the last tote out of the unit here. Really heavy again. Let's see. Ooh, stereo or radio or something. Uh, let's see what we have here. A Panasonic CD stereo system. SAPM18. And I guess these are the two speakers. Yes, so. Yeah, so I see complete. a price tag on the other one. You do? Yeah. $10. But I wonder if that's just for the speaker. I don't know. Maybe the whole thing's worth a little more. What is that? The glass blown stuff. Something in this towel too. What do you think it is? Careful. It's get out. a teapot made in China. Because it is China. A little gardening kit. Yeah, get out there. <laughs> Joe Matana bear. Could do some more glass and stuff. Like, why do they have to use the glass? Like, why do you keep this? I don't know. Oops. And it looks to be a giant glass bowl in here, too. Something sounds broken in here. Yeah. Is it crystal? I don't know what I'm checking for. That, and that's pretty much it. I think there's something else broken in there. I don't want to dig in there because we don't have gloves, so not too exciting. So we have two suitcases left, and this one is unfortunately bras. Socks, t-shirts, and junk. And they're not lying. Nothing interesting in there besides just cheap whatever. So we're gonna toss this one aside. We have one more suitcase to go through and that's everything from this unit and then we'll do a recap. So let's go get it. All right guys, last suitcase. Let's see if I can pull out a jewelry box. Oh, Christmas tag, that's no fun. What about, what is this big thing? Santa! Aww. Anything else in here? So we also got Christmas 10, celebrate the special magic of Christmas. And it's got butterflies. Aww. Joy. Let's see. I think it's all it's in the front pocket. Butterflies are not money. All right, you ready? Oh, wow. I see you making out the Pluto. But they're just full of lights. That's just a shipping box. Oh, so it looks like we have another coat of just Christmas stuff. We actually did sell what we had last time, but like I said, not for much. You get like a dollar for thing. What is this, some kind of joke? Okay, there it is, finally. Looks like it's broken anyway. Like that. Ah. Just Christmas stuff in that suitcase but the suitcase again both of them will go for like five a piece so ten dollars in the suitcases not a bad overall unit we're gonna get it home go through everything and then do a recap and show you everything we found out so be right back all right guys dark outside finally finished going through the van and everything 
So in the van, all we have is the, I'm assuming what goes in the back of a truck with the toolbox thing, which we still haven't gotten open yet. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with that yet, unless you have an idea. Um, the other big trunk, get away bug, back there that has the Chinese paintings, the, I, if I remember right, Bradford artist um, oh, piece. Yeah. The concert posters. Yeah, the concert poster, um, that stuff is in there still, which is not going to the flea market. And then this right here, all this stuff in, which way? This jewelry box. All this stuff down here, we put all the jewelry in here and the only thing we've done to it so far is magnet tested. This is everything that was not magnetic. There is a lot of 925 in there. I don't see any gold, but a lot of 925 for sure. Okay. okay. All right, jewelry box. Um. Also this, I am not sure if this is ivory or not. I'm not sure how to tell the texture or the look of it, but my first thought was ivory. So if you guys have any more detail about Isn't that, there, of course I'm going to look it up. And I'm try marking to tell, on the top or something. Yeah. Can you see that? I have to see it in the light. I can't really tell what it is, but yeah, it's I there. Know. I think it's like Chinese or Japanese. Is it? Yeah, I don't know which way. It looks like a 10 there or something. I have no idea. Definitely not being sold just in case it's ivory. Yeah. What else we got um, going on? And the here we also have all the Coke bottles. Um, there's a few other things which I didn't know was if, if it was collectible or not. There's Chinese fans. There's a few Chinese statues in here. Um, a few other rocks. Kind of like we found in the other unit. And a few other glass like plates that have interesting markings on them. So... And the leather jackets. All the leather jackets are out there. Besides all of that stuff, everything else is flea marketable or complete trash. So, so a lot of stuff was broken, which I had to throw away. But that is pretty much it. Overall, I mean, very interesting unit. They, I thought it was going to be an overall trashy unit, but we ended up finding that trunk full of stuff, which was amazing. I can't wait to look more into that stuff. By the way, I got to say one thing. I looked that trunk up and all together that thing sold for like 900 bucks so I don't know if you can get like 150 200 off somebody that does antique restoration, restoration or something like that yes. but it's worth a lot in good shape all right so with all that being said we hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave it a big fat thumbs up and if you're not already hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunt videos all the time if you do want to follow us on our social media link it's going to be on screen or click the links down in the description below make sure you follow us on whatever you have thank you so much for watching and until next time peace out